on Shaggy Trip here. In this video, what I'm going to try and do is throw up some graphs and some text uh, to go with it. What I'm going to do here is try and show you a relationship with volcanic activity, earthquake activity, and earth temperatures. So I'll try not to, it won't be too deep. I urge you to research more of this yourself. So let's get started. Scientists have known for some time that the eruptions can cool the atmosphere because of sulfur dioxide that is ejected into the air during eruptions. These droplets of sulfuric acid, which form when the gas combines with oxygen in the upper atmosphere, can persist for many months and reflect sunlight away from the earth, thus lowering surface temperatures below. But the new study by scientists at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology reveals that the relatively small volcanic eruptions can also curtail the increase of greenhouse gases and greatly impact the temperatures on the planet. Scientists believe these small eruptions over the last decade may explain why the warming effect on Earth has slowed down in recent years, falling short of matching the levels predicted by scientists based on the amount of carbon entering the atmosphere. Some have examined the timing of 11 eruptive events that produce silica-rich magma from four volcanoes in Japan. Over the past 306 years, from AD 1700 to AD 2005, nine of the 11 events occurred during inactive phases of our solar magnetic activity, or solar minimum, which is well indexed by the group sunspot number. The strong association between eruption timing and a solar minimum is statistically significant to a confidence level of 96.7. This relationship is not observed for eruptions from volcanoes with relatively silica poor magma. Now there is a similar correlation that was found also for earthquakes. All major earthquakes during the strong solar minimums or grand minimums for instance after solar activity declined significant, significantly between 2004-2010 there were 11 major earthquakes over 8 magnitude. The Solomon Islands, Sumatra, uh, Indian Ocean, Tsunami, uh, Nias, Tonga, the Kuril Islands, twice, uh, Peru, Sumatra again, 2007, and then Samoa in 2009. And then you have uh, uh, Chile, of course, 8.8 .8 in 2010. Scientists, they say, are puzzled and cannot give rational explanation why destructive earthquakes took place on grand minimums. I guess what I'm trying to point out is the relationship between solar cycles and Earth's correlation with, uh, along with volcanoes, activities, Earth's temperatures. Uh, it gets deeper than that and going to muons and stratospheric and ionospheric uh, changes. I urge you to look into it and see what earthquakes and or volcanoes do to our atmosphere and let me know. I thank you for bearing with my first uh, <laughs> voiceover uh, video. I wish you all the best. Stay well.